Hey guys, you're watching Paul Thunder Org and here's a video demonstration of the Proton X50's ADAS or Advanced Driving Assist Systems. This includes the Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Keep Assist and Intelligent Cruise Control which is basically a combination on the first two features. This will also show Bliss which is its blind spot system. Alright, let's go take a closer look. car in front of us and it's now detected it so you can see the gray mark there yeah it's not reacting to it doesn't need to there's nothing happening right now i haven't turned on the icc system and there's no emergency situation but it is aware that there's a car there i'll drive for the first bit and then what we'll do is we'll go through our little simulated highway um, and i'll switch on the system at a slow speed just to show you how, how it works and how the graphic system what it displays okay so it's now detected that car now that I've switched on the ICC, it now knows, okay, I'm following this car, all right? So it's highlighted that car in front of us, right? And you've got the lines on either side. Once it starts to pick it up, it will show you that it's seen the lines. And then on this straight part here, when I get a bit too close to the right, it will actually bring the car back to the center. It's picked it up and now it's centering the car again and turning the steering on its own. And then if I apply the brake, it deactivates the whole thing. So the whole idea is that like we're doing long distance journeys and the highways etc you turn on the ICC and it just takes the stress away from driving the, the long distance trips become so much easier it's not fully autonomous so it will require your hands on the wheel right like I said if you take the hands off it detects that there's no torque it will ask you to put your hands back on the wheel I'm just gonna display the the bliss system the blind spot the X70 has it as well the X70 has it on the A pillar mm -hmm. Uh, this has it in built into the mirror as you know. Yeah. Okay, so straight away there's oranges mm -hmm. there and if I indicate we get the audio and the visual so it's blinking and I've got an audio sound to tell me don't don't go. We'll go a little bit quicker now on the way back down. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it up to 60. Okay. So from this point back to the tent, I'm not gonna touch the brakes. Set it to 60. Done. And I've seen the lanes. It will also help with the steering. There we go. Straighten it up a little bit. Now with the advanced system, the level 2 compared to the level 1, the ACC itself is also better. So the speed control to the car in front, when he turns a sharper corner, there's a chance that we might lose the radar signal. Mm -hmm. Because the radar's on the front, but with the camera we don't. So even though he actually goes off our center line, we're still getting him and getting his speed. And then here, he stops, and so do we. The nice part about it is that the braking is quite progressive. Mm -hmm. There's no jerky feeling. Yeah. There's, it's not too last minute. Yeah. The thing that I like about it is that it actually will stop the car a couple of meters, or not stop, but almost stop the car a couple of meters early, and then just creep for the last couple of meters. So it's not so scary. The car in front as well doesn't get that scary. So you've done most of it there, and then a creep, and then a stop. And like I said, no pedals at all. It accelerates on its own from zero. Now he's going to pull away from us quite a bit now and actually come to a stop. All right, so it's already sensed that it needs to start slowing down. It gets most of the slowing down early. And the last bit is quite relaxed. There's no real scary moment right. to it. And it, it has a radius of about 250 degrees. If anything more than that is going to ask you to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but anything less than that, it can do it on its own. Okay. So. Okay most highways unless you're like going up car up or something like mm -hmm. most highways yeah. it's can do 90 percent of it on its own right it wouldn't slow down by itself to, to, to make it a corner as well okay yeah so if it senses it can do the corner but not at that speed it mm -hmm. will slow down and again progressively and it will take the corner and then speed back up again okay and this works it up to 150 yeah so if you're doing 150 and there's a slight bend in the road it's probably going to slow down to like 140 130 to make sure it's nice and steady through the corner speed back up again if it senses that this corner is too tight for it to handle it will give you both audio and visual that you need to be in control okay. so there you go a quick demonstration of the proton x50's ADAS features it's definitely the first car in the class to feature all those systems and it's a pretty advanced one at that what do you think let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching